Hey, what is going on ladies and the gentlemen? My name is Corbett and I will be your host today for Europa Universalis 4. Welcome back to episode 27 of our Anglophile achievement run here as Great Britain, of course, where we did a little bit of conquesting that almost cost us our entire life with the Ottomans here, but, you know, you know, on, on the bright side it didn't. And, um, on the other side of that same coin of yesterday's episodes, we had stupid stuff over here happen, which we can fix, like, in an instant, so I think we might as well. Um, oh, well, yeah, we can literally just go for defected province. Sure, I mean, I don't have a conquest, so I might as well use something. So, that's gonna work out for us. Um, other than that, though, there's only one minor, tiny little issue, and I think Molly's also um, Sunni, which... I mean, hopefully annexing uh, three things won't bring you up by too aggressive expansion. We'll see. I, I hope not, but we'll see what we can do. Also, people spontaneously decide to leave the coalition. Hmm, nice. Nice, okay. Castile's gone as well, even better. Tech's doing all right, meaning we can probably take this extra, extra two culture groups, which is quite nice. We don't have anything to really spend it on, but um, it'll be useful for when we integrate France eventually. It'll, it'll happen, I swear, one of these decades, um, one of these centuries. Also seems for some reason that Russia is guaranteeing Sweden, which is a little bit weird considering how massive Sweden actually is. Yeah, that's a little bit interesting. I would have thought Sweden might be a great power just the same as Austria, but no. Apparently the Timurids are beating them. That's when you know you're having a good game. Okay, well, uh, that means we can't really invade Sweden. How about Denmark, actually? Denmark's, like, close enough to us, right? No, nah, there's Austria over there. Oh, Austria, you're gonna be a pain in my butt for the rest of the series. Actually, you're not the Emperor, so you won't be that much of a pain. In fact, who do we have to vassalize? There are, like, three... Three electors, but... Electorship can be revoked, like, literally at any time, so... Is it really electorship for right now, or when it's worth it? Who knows? It also might be a little bit difficult to actually... To actually figure that out. But it's also not today's problem, so we're just not going to worry about it. It would be today's problem if I had the energy to deal with it, but I don't, so... Instead, we're just going to scare away this guy so we can comfortably come over here. And boom, that's the war goal. I will go to your capital while France just gets absolutely slapped. Because I don't care if France gets slapped. Either way, they, they still have to get past the fort. And I won't, so... Okay, give me that unity. It's going to be down here and approximately... Oh, that's expensive. All this is really expensive. Let's go for this one. Slightly less super expensive. I also occasionally forget the fact that um, yeah, we, we don't... We don't actually own this land. Wait, hold on. How could I possibly... I do own this land, what? Why would I be getting a Drizzan here? That's weird. Okay, bring you over here. Um, anyways. So we have Newfoundland we can have over here, but this isn't really Newfoundland. Like, this, this is Newfoundland, so... That's a little awkward, but... Mm, how about we just call it, like... I don't know. Is there another name, or is it just always Newfoundland that's gonna, that's gonna tell us? We could call it Nova Scotia, because that's where it is, but... Eh, I mean, it's still new land that they found. <laughs> that's a bit of a stretch, but okay. We'll just keep it as it is, I don't actually care. But now that we do have that extra, extra colonist, I was thinking down here in Australia, rest in peace, by the way, what's been going on down here recently, but... Um... Yeah, hopefully we can uh, we can have a prospering Australia over here currently. Where all we need to do is end up with, like, what, five colonies or something? So it's kind of better, generally speaking, to colonize over here anyway. Because there's so much better development. I'll start over here, though. Eh, yeah, yeah, I'll start over here. We can just start with, like, a whatever, someone from somewhere. Cool. Thank you, 530 days, which is fine, because we have these guys over here, who can move over just fine. So that's over here in Aora. Also, all my sounds are quiet, or my ears are deaf today. I have no idea which is the, the actual case. 
I'm hoping I'm not deaf, but I guess we'll find out when um, when the video is set to release. Now, we have 26 over here, and 29 is the combat width, meaning, well, at least one of these guys has to move over. In theory, we have a few extra we should also have, like, four more. Speaking of four, didn't I have, didn't I have four more? Somewhere? I feel like I might have, or I was supposed to. They might be over here with these guys. No, that wouldn't make sense. I don't know what the problem is. But my, my, my brain, my mind is telling me that's not enough guys, but we don't have enough manpower to, like, recruit anymore anyway, so... It, it doesn't matter. Give me that capital, please, so we can move on. Ah, God, this is disgusting. I have to clean up all these problems now. I mean, this problem is easy enough to clean up, but... The extra problems that I'm going to have to clean up... This is also... No, okay, that's Jolof. That's, that's fine, then. So over here, these problems shouldn't be so bad. 83. I mean, you're not willing to give up yet, but... It doesn't mean it's a bad problem. It just means you're being stubborn. Also go for extra money, because money's nice. Mm, I could have gone with, with mercantilism, actually. That would have been kind of good. I don't know. Okay, so let's bring you guys up into... No, not there, apparently. I have to wait for this for like 20 seconds. And then it'll be done. Maybe longer. Please don't take longer. Yes, okay, good. So not only do we get the land back, but we, we get to take more stuff too. Which is nice. Full annexation. Um, which is gonna make people a little bit upset. That's quite a little bit of upset. That's a lot of upset. I didn't expect- I thought there would be maybe one, maybe two. So I didn't even take a second look. I definitely should have taken a second look. Um, but our situation, in theory, should be okay. I mean, it's only like they're the, they're only the third greatest power in the world. After all, we have the Commonwealth on our side. They can help. Probably. Just, just gonna make sure that they, that they will help. Also, we'll get a couple of claims around here. I also feel like I'm gonna sneeze. I really don't want to sneeze right now. That would be awful to edit out. Whew, I think we're good. Okay. I'm gonna grab the next thing here, which could be not this. Eh. Uh, not really. Yes, this is actually pretty good. Or advisor costs, but extra merchant. Trade power abroad, plus 5%. That's like a plus 5%. Kind of not really. Uh, well, yes, kind of. 5% increase in in the money in those notes that we get to use for whatever purpose. I guess it kind of counts. Oh, uh, we can throw in a bunch of stuff into there. Church power, yeah, that's fine. Prestige, that's okay. Not this one, because that takes a while. I don't really want to use that one. Take sides in Parliament, prestige, sure. Percent a scapegoat, I don't really want to. That's a lot of professionalism. Admin, populists, more admin. Why is it always admin with you guys? I mean, if we can't do anything else, we might as well, right? We can't court up all this stuff, but we should be able to in like two months, because we do make quite a bit of admin. A few months, not two months, like I'd say like two years, maybe. At most, around two years. Also, you guys are rather upset. English West Indies, why are you guys upset? Is it because you have pretty high tax tariff efficiency? 52%. More than half of their money is going towards me. Can't imagine that feels very nice. But it's gonna be fine. Okay, all the stuff's back. There should be at least one core. The one core in Cyprus is worth approximately... Show me this, please. 17%. Ah, oh, really? That's kind of close. And then we have the one in Berbera. Then we have the one in Kutch. So in Kutch and um, Cyprus, that should bring us back down to below 100. Which is absolutely fine. Okay, uh, right then. So this coalition, it doesn't actually exist yet, which is good. But I don't know how I'll feel in approximately... Oh, you're really gonna do this right now? In my moment of weakness? You would, wouldn't you? Oh yeah, yeah I bet you would. I bet you would. Call me into this war that I have no business in whatsoever. Ah, oh, thanks, Austria. Brilliant. Because now, now the coalition says, I'm at war, I have reason to exist, when normally they wouldn't. Making my day that much better. 
I'm also going to have to, of course, slack in recruiting again. And no more cores for now, but that's fine. Okay, that's fixed. France is back, so they're going to survive a little bit longer. Parliament's been won, which actually did give us that extra merchant. Uh, we have the one over here. Where would I want this one, actually? Oh, the... Oh, never mind. I thought that was the North Sea, but I'm dumb, and that's up here. Okay, so good money from here, good money from here, and here. I do have one in here. I would prefer to have one actually in this. Yeah. Definitely want one in there. It's a good merchant chain. Uh, you can only have, like, up to five, so that's the one, two, three, four over here. If I got the fifth one, I could uh, push Ivory Coast, but Ivory Coast goes directly towards... The English Channel, which is worth a lot more than that would ever be worth, so whatever. Okay, well, we have a good network of allies who are all fairly strong. Also, these guys are pretty much dying. How much longer till you get there? Way too long, okay. You guys can go back to your original location. Mm, yes, I'm gonna have to chase after all the random African native rebels around here, which is nice. All these areas are fine. I don't need this on. Um, these guys are just chilling, I guess. Where's my navy? Uh, it should be somewhere over here. Okay, cool. I'll bring you over here. You guys have good maneuver with your leader, so we'll hand them to over to this guy, which will give me more money in Lübeck. At least it should. Right? Yeah, a little bit. That's pretty good. Okay, uh, grant new world charters, no problem. You guys go back around up to here. You should have no problem dealing with these separatists. Here we go, next core here. Uh, ooh! A half cost, level 3, Polish commandant. I think I will. I think I definitely will. Ooh, she's pretty good. Well, hold on, that's a... Octavius, is that a, uh, is that a, is that a gender neutral first name? Because that sounds I don't even know. Octavius hardly sounded like a name in the first place to me until I heard it for the first time like yesterday. Um, yeah, okay, we're gonna keep this open because so long as it's open, we can't get another bad things. We can't get the same thing spawning. So keep those open. They'll just like pop by themselves, and I mean, it doesn't require my immediate attention. So. It's what's best for us right now. Oh, there we go. There's the next core, um, which puts us... Oh. There's the one I'm missing in Berbera. Which will take uh, about one year. Yeah, approximately. Unless there's anything else that's sooner. Oh, yeah, there's March. Okay, yeah. It was, Ku uh, it was Kutch, sorry. That's um, that's what I forgot about in the first place. They give me that one. Cool, cool. You guys are fine. There's no other unrest in here, right? Wrong. Of course there's unrest. There's always unrest in here. Yeah, okay. It's it's best when like they're not even my rebels, so I don't I don't even create the unrest. I got rid of the unrest, but someone else's problem just became my problem. Okay. Uh improved relations would be a very nice right now. Cost us a little bit, but we're filthy rich. Speaking of uh, improving relations, hi there, Ottomans. We don't like them, but if we can get them to like us, because they're not our rival. Well, I mean, there's hostile relations, which is like minus 50, but eh, we can we can try and help out a little bit, right? Yeah, probably. Okay, so Kutch should be should be done in like two months. Okay. New no problemo. Uh, increased loyalty. Lester becomes part of the Burger's influence. Lester, which exists. Thought it was over here. Maybe I'm losing my mind. Anyway, I imagine that's not much of a problem. I really wish it would tell you, hey, it's good. Their uh, their influence is. Oh, it will actually. Three point six. Fine, I don't care. Uh, hard times. Those are failed rains, so we don't actually need to touch those. Um. Oh, there we go. That's the first one. We do get a pretty moderate amount of, um, what you call it, church power, though, so we're going to be fine. You should definitely start off by going over here, to be honest with you. 
and they're not going to get there in time. That kind of sucks. Okay, so you go and grab the ones in, in uh, Joma. Very good. You go over to here, clean that up. And actually, you do this and then that. And there we go. Just a couple of things to clean up here and there. Today's a cleaning up episode where we fix things, and apparently I get three stability drops in like a span of three seconds. Okay, Rebels. War is pretty much over, but uh, yeah, sure, whatever. Stability goes down twice, which is my favorite part, because I was prepared to bring it back up once, but now I get to do it twice, which is nice. I also have to send more royal marriages, I think. Yeah? Yeah, okay. So, that would be uh, probably Austria? Yeah. Okay, great. So we have a two-door. Uh, who else would be our uh, previous commitments? Just these two, actually. Okay, cool. France also doesn't like us very much. Maybe I should try and improve that slightly. Well, actually, no, because I'm not going to integrate them anytime soon, so I don't care if they like us or not. Their liberty desire is zero, so... It uh, actually has no bearing, no effect whatsoever. Literally, I don't care. Okay, cool. Now these guys are done, but we do have more Rebels Uprising. Adelin Separatists. I don't even know who those guys are, but... They're gonna be in my way. Right here, I'm assuming? Like these areas? I think I can safely assume that's gonna be it. Okay, so, while our aggressive expansion is rather massive in these areas, and we're still at war, um, maybe... Actually, I, I just want to check for a second. I think we have enough time to swap these guys out. What are they? Charge Infantry. Okay, Charge and Maurician. Let's go for... Let's go for Maurician, because we have more fire. And fire is sort of starting to prevail now. They also owe us some favors, but I think that's irrelevant at this point. Yeah, there's a lot of favors people have with us. A lot of favors we have with each other. So. Uh, lose admin, lose legitimacy. I probably prefer... Which one would I prefer, actually? Hmm... Legitimacy goes up quite a bit because of the English monarchy, so I think I'm fine with losing that for a second. Alright, oh, uh, all these areas that have like plus a billion unrest, I can probably just put up. Let's go by unrest. Increase autonomy in all the areas that are like above a certain amount. I think that should be fine. Because it's still the 1500s, meaning there's no imperialism and I don't care about or absolutism, either. So at least we can uh, we can relax knowing I'm not doing anything too awful like that. Also, the war is over, of course, meaning I can probably purchase something else from someone. I was hoping Bengal, maybe. Also, we got the second province over here, which we can just add to this. There we go. No more unrest. Totally fine. We might want to start pushing into India, although a global coalition is the last thing I need right now. So I don't really know. We could go straight for uh, the rest of Mexico. True. Because I don't know if I got any of the gold mines. Now, all the gold mines are, of course, over here in, you know, the Aztec area. So I didn't get any of the gold mines yet. Literally off by one province. So I might want to go and kill um, Zhu right now because they're rather weak. They only have nine miltech and, I mean, it would be an easy win, so. Hmm. Is there anywhere you guys can survive? Yep, down here. Very nice. You two as well. Okay, so how's our army size looking? Hmm, I can't make another army yet. I do think I only have three proper. Yeah, three proper size armies. You guys are still looking for the seven cities, huh? Good luck. Good luck finding them. I know you guys can, uh, can do your best. You know, pretty much just exploring stuff, but that's it. Why is everyone calling me into wars recently? That's not going to be very good for me. Now I'm at war with Russia? In theory, I can actually take stuff from Russia. Hold on a minute. The theory stands this isn't a bad thing. It's stupid, but it's still it's still technically right. Technically. So, um... Let's move one of these armies over. 
doesn't actually matter which one it is. But let's say we want to move them up into Norway. Except you're locked in. Now go into Norway. And, you know, in theory we're only going to use this fleet, which is good. We're going to assign him the maneuver, which is fantastic. The cores are getting done. Everything's doing fine. You guys are dying of attrition. My favorite. We no longer need this fort up. You can instead try and be best friends with everyone here, although... Humanist is doing a really good job at uh, keeping me alive here. With the traditions and all that good stuff. We're also close to the 200 we need for another stability, which is kind of good. The army can suffer. I don't want the army to suffer. Oh, but either way, we're suffering. Oh, wow. I mean, this is the equivalent of, like, five professionalism. This is one professionalism. There's, there's clearly a better option here, so I'm just going to go ahead and pick it. Okay, uh, you guys are heading down to South America, I guess. You didn't find anything up in the northern half of America, so... Yikes. Also, this is... Oh, did I, did I take that from you? Oh, I must have. I didn't even notice. Okay, um, my bad, I guess. Yeah, okay. So how much do I need for Australia? Just five? Okay, that's not a problem. Um, this is the highlands and this is grasslands. Well, I imagine the grasslands are much, much safer to go ahead and, uh, and colonize. Which means it'll be faster and we can have more uptime on our colonists. Let's get something like this going. Get a couple more guys going. Corruption's growing. I should probably get rid of that. Hmm, yeah, that's kind of expensive. Okay, uh, now I'm at war once again, though, so I can't even charter what I was trying to do earlier from Bengal, so that kind of sucks. There we go. Extra stability, just to decrease the uh, unrest a little bit more. Speaking of which, it's in Belatung and Segu. So over here, you guys are already upset. Well, we're off to a good start. Now, Segu is out and over here. Now, well, I can't do much about you, huh? I will move these guys down here to stop from dying all that much. Oh, and look, it's the Ottomans. Everyone's absolute favorite. Everyone's absolute favorite. Absolutely, 100%. What would they declare for? Well, obviously, the punitive CB. Clearly. But that can only include a few nations now, because I haven't messed with Europe for a long, long time. I'm, I kind of want to leave the messing with Europe for a little while, so that I don't mess with Europe that much. It kind of paid off slightly for right now. Um, but I don't know if the Coalition thinks they're strong enough yet, because if they do, that's a bit of, um, not good. Pretty much. Just not good. It's also technically the slight off chance that seeing as the Commonwealth and I are both great powers and Russia is one, the Ottomans could just join in this war. I don't know if the Commonwealth thought much about that. But uh, we'll see what ends up going on here. Siege of Finnmark? Yeah, I knew you'd come over. We just can't get there fast enough. We don't have the home troops. Because I didn't want to fight this war in the first place. But uh, that's none of my business anymore, apparently. How about we split you into two? We'll do something like that. We'll also turn in one more month. Well, no, I'll just turn it off right now. Oh, this is also a gold mine. Ooh, not bad. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, you guys are done. Uh, oh, right, yeah, I did the one thing where I, I expelled instead of uh, put it down as normal. That kind of sucks a little bit. That's also still fine. I'll send the troops over, just in case anyway. So these guys head over. I'll uh, take a look at the time, because I didn't set a timer for today. Yeah, we should probably end the episode soon anyway. So I'll bring you over to here. Oh, partisan uh, zealots in France. These guys can uh, also head over to Australia. Our manpower per month is good enough for now. These guys are managing any rebels, but they don't really exist, so it doesn't matter. We're getting a decent kind of income from here, but again, I do want to invade the rest of Zanzibar. I want to have the rest of the uh, 
the trade nodes in this entire region before I move on to India or Malacca or any of these areas really. Australia is just for the achievement, but... or the, the mission, sorry. Yeah. So before I do any of the stuff in India, I really want to go through East Africa. Um, another war with Portugal just to take their stuff down here for the fun of it, pretty much. And maybe their other colonies. I mean, they also have Texas, or apparently it's Mexico now. And this stuff is just disgusting. I need this out of my way immediately, please, and thank you. Um, as for the 13 colonies, is that still 13, or are you up to 15 now? 1, 2, 3, 4, not really, because that's being built right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so with these two extra ones here, we'll be able to complete the 13 colonies finally. And that'll be nice and quick and over. Done. All those things together as one. Um, I think subjugating France and... You know, finishing off this part of the tree will be last, like literally the last thing we do after Alexandria, after Egyptian authority. Um, actually, yeah, I think it will be literally the last thing we do is the France branch, because we're at least halfway down, uh, halfway down the tree, I think. I think so. Yeah, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, maybe 20 missions left? Yeah, so this one can be done quickly, this one can be done fast. Egyptian Authority will probably take me another 20, 30 years. Grow the channel. Oh, right, yeah, we need to invade Holland, don't we? We need to invade these guys. I forgot about that. And you're still within the Empire? Yes, you are. Okay, well, uh, I'll think about that on my break, on my off time here. But for now, this is Corpus signing off, hoping you had a fun time here, and as always, have a fantastic day. I'd like to give a huge thank you to the $1 patrons Quiet Guy and Dylan M, and the $5 patron Mezzan Max, and the $20 patron Chewy Shoot. You guys are doing an amazing job helping me to push this channel forward, and I cannot possibly thank you enough.